the park doing our favorite activity, which is bird watching. There's lots of people outside because it's been raining for three days. And finally, it's nice out. So we're enjoying it. Howdy. How's it going? I just worked for nine and a half hours at my part-time job. Welcome to my kitchen. It is tiny but mighty. We're gonna make some chocolate banana muffins because these bananas gotta go. This is not going to be some kind of tutorial on how to make these muffins because I am not a baker in any way, shape, or form, but I will tell you what I'm doing for shits and giggles. I got the oven up to 425 and I gotta melt some butter I'm not a big chef. I don't use my kitchen a lot because it's so small. When I do feel inspired to do something fun, it usually is baking. Cooking is just not it for me sometimes. I'm, I'm learning, I'm 29, I gotta learn how to feed myself. So far, I've relied on a lot of restaurant food, mostly because I had never spent that much time at home until the pandemic. That was it for me. We're melting away here. Me and my butter and my great aunt's cookware. Look at how cute this is. I've got one bowl in my entire kitchen. This is all I have because I am too lazy to buy one on Amazon, I guess. I've lived in this apartment for nearly two years, so maybe that says something about my character. I don't know. All right, so I need sugar, butter, this cooling egg and vanilla. We need three quarter cup dark brown sugar. I've also got my, my best friend, Marcel. This is Marcel the Shell. And Marcel sits in my kitchen with me and has coffee with me in the morning. I just got him the other day and he brings me an immense amount of joy. So Marcel's gonna hang out on top of the cinnamon. Half a cup. Well, since we're doing this, let's get into how I became a self-employed independent musician in a nationally touring band for the last five years. I first moved to Philadelphia in the summer of 2015, and I, it's weird to think about now actually, I had just graduated college. I did not want to live back in my hometown. I said, I can't go back there. There's nothing there for me, even though my family is there. Music wise, not for me. I wanted to build a career. I wanted to have a real substantial music career. I have been singing and performing since I was seven. Okay. So, hard bowl, sugar, egg, vanilla. So we're gonna add the egg in. Whee! I moved to Philadelphia. I then joined a band called American Babies. Well, before I did that, I recorded my first EP, which seems like a blip in the past now. Uh, I did a Kickstarter for it, and... It turned out great. I'm proud of it, it's still online. I sound like a child in those recordings because that was almost 10 years ago. We got the butter, we got the egg, we got the vanilla. Isn't this fun? Isn't this just so fun? Okay, whisk in mashed bananas, which I have not mashed yet. So we can get to mashing, but I, I don't have a vessel. I don't have a vessel for mashing. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. We'll figure something out, hold on. We're just gonna use the pot. I recorded my first EP with my bandmate, Tom. He helped make it really good. He has such an incredible ear as a musician for producing. He's a great producer. And he produced my band, Ghostlight, which we haven't gotten to yet, but he's, he's produced our last two albums. Well, our only two albums. I personally think he's a musical genius. And we've been to hell and back together. My first tour was in the fall of 2015. And let me tell you, that was the craziest thing I had, I felt like I had ever done. I didn't know what I was doing really. I had played plenty of shows by myself and we were touring with a band and I had to learn all this material. It was really overwhelming. <laughs> I didn't know if I could do it. But now I look back and I'm like, oh, thank God she did that. And with that band and with those people, the first tour that I ever went on was with Green Sky Bluegrass and American Babies. Tom Hamilton's American Babies was opening for them. And what a ride. I'm surprised these bananas honestly don't look worse because they have been in my fridge for a super long time. I don't know why, but I just didn't want to eat bananas anymore. I just like, I said, ew, I don't want it. it. Looks like baby vomit, which is the point, right? Baby vomit, delicious. Now we're gonna throw in the bananas. Throw in the bananas into the bowl. Add flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon. 
On my first tour, I felt so lost. And I'm sure that there are other musicians on the internet who can relate to my feelings on first tours, but I thought I was ready. I was like, I got this, I'm ready to go. I still panic before every tour. And I've been on a lot of tours. I still have a total meltdown. The two, three days before we're supposed to leave, I'm a mess, total wreck. That's my anxiety, my little demon inside that says, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. Now I finally feel like I am, so bless the fuck up. Flour. Set the flour, half a cup of cocoa powder. What do you think, Marcel? One teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder. Okay. One teaspoon cinnamon. Excuse me, Marcel. For flavor, of course. Gotta have this in. Half a teaspoon salt. I always knew that I wanted to be a musician. I feel like I always knew. In fact, I feel like maybe even my former classmates in middle school could tell you, audience, that they knew that I was gonna be a musician in some way, shape, or form. I felt like it was part of my identity. Also, it helped save my soul, my existence when I was a teenager. I don't think I would have made it through my adult life without performing and writing. It's a little heavy, but that is the truth. I think that the best musicians might be the most traumatized and psychotic people out there. A lot of creatives are. Okay, so don't overmix, don't overmix because you're chatting. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, these are big chips. I think all creatives are wounded people searching for connection and self-expression. And I am trying to find that here on my YouTube channel to connect with people and to reconnect with myself a little bit. The past year of my life was traumatic. We lost two band members. Lost as in they quit, they didn't die. And we put out our second album in October. And I was so proud of it. It's called The Healing. And honestly, I feel like that the, the title in itself is still my motto for living now. The Healing, I'm just trying to heal. The last year was really a lot for everybody involved in the band and I am still processing it and I think all the other band members are as well. I thought bands were supposed to be like family and it turns out a lot of musicians work like bands are just a job. And that is not really how I approach music. Music is connection and creativity to me. And there was a lot of disconnection with some of the members in the band. And I don't feel comfortable giving all, all the details away because I'm still processing it. Maybe someday I'll write a book about it but this band has not been an easy project. It's been a labor of love, just like these banana chocolate chip muffins. Music is a labor of love. Creating an album is like the most psychotic thing you can do. <sighs> There's no right and wrong way to do music, but this past year, I had so much fun being on the road with my bandmates. I really did. And I also had a lot of not fun times on the road with my bandmates. That's pretty par for the course. I mean, you can read any story about your favorite bands and they're gonna be pretty wild. You know, Fleetwood Mac is a good one that comes to mind. A lot of band members hate each other sometimes. Sometimes that's just the way things go. I wish the whole last year had been different and more positive. I felt the most confident I have ever felt on stage in the last three months of 2022. I felt like I really unlocked something after coming out of the pandemic in myself as a performer, as a singer, as a guitar player. I felt so comfortable finally on stage, even though my anxiety was always terrible, but it felt fun finally and then it all fell apart. So I'm trying to figure out what my next move is. I mean, I wanna do solo stuff. I wanna maybe make my own band and I don't know what that looks like yet and I wanna write more songs. Now you've watched me grease this pan for five minutes. Moving on. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Ooh, 
the batter looks good. The reason I'm working on my YouTube channel and doing this is because I want to connect with people in a personal way that's not just through music. That maybe the people watching will come and see me play. That is the hope. But if not, that's cool too. <laughs> We're doing it! Oh my god! I just love creating stuff, and I've watched YouTube for as long as I can remember. I uploaded my first video ever 15 years ago to YouTube, and I never really took my channel that seriously because I guess I felt embarrassed by, like, putting things online, but I don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel so embarrassed by my personality. <laughs> and, like I don't hate myself anymore, that's kind of cool, you know? I'm proud of the person that I w became now and the person I was when I was 21, when I was 16. I was 14 when I uploaded my first YouTube video. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like shit <laughs> because you're just Poo colored. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like maybe there are worse things to bake. I love movies. I love video. My boyfriend is a professional video editor, which might come in handy one of these days. He edited the two music videos that we put out for our second album, The Healing. Uh, we made a music video for a song called Take Some Time. That was the first one we did. And then the second one, which was more of a concept and a story, which ugh, I love. I loved making it a story and really playing out the idea and sourcing the costumes and it brought me so much creative joy. And he edited those and they turned out great. These pooed muffins are going into the oven. Bake for five minutes at 425 and then lower the heat to 350. Ding. Ding. Tray number two. See you later. I am excited to see how my future turns out this year because I feel really determined to do something new. My band is not over, you know, but this break is just a chance for us to do something else creatively and I am going to take the bull by the horns, baby. I can't find the Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the modem or router connections. I'm about to unplug this bitch. I'm very excited to see where the rest of this year takes me. Some days I wake up and I'm like, who am I gonna be today? I had an idea that I would come home and write a song about what my day was like as a song prompt, as a writing prompt. That's what I was looking for. And that's still kind of in the back of my head, but I am a wee bit tired. I love that guy. I don't ever wanna stop playing music. It is my most favorite thing to do. And I have been teaching lessons to folks of all ages for the last, well, since, about half a year into the pandemic. It has been so fulfilling to do, and I get to meet people from all over the country through the internet. How we doing? Oh, chocolate babies. Hey guys. Uh, they seem pretty squidgy. Mm. It's definitely giving brownie. Okay, we're trying it. We're trying the... something in my teeth? Yeah, they're good. What a lovely treat. <laughs> my mom always told me not to talk in my mouth. Well, well, this was fun. Thanks for joining me for stories and baking. I am excited to just see what happens with my creativity in this channel. What it's like to be a songwriter and a musician, a professional one at that. Sometimes it surprises even myself, but we're living the dream. I hope you come along for the ride. I'll catch you next time. Bye.